let's try and read for 24 hours straight. Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I am going to be doing the 24 hour readathon by Read by Zoe. You've probably heard of her. She's awesome. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, you should because she is hilarious. And she hosts these things called 24 hour readathons. I'm not sure if she invented the idea, but basically you try and read from midnight on one day to 11.59 of that same day, so for 24 hours. <laughs> Someone's bothering my nose. Uh, so I've seen a couple of vlogs for these things and they look like a lot of fun, so I really wanted to try it. So I am going to do it this time. It is currently 11.55 on October 13th to 12 o'clock a.m. on October 14th. I will be starting the readathon I've already had some tea and I usually don't drink caffeine, so I'm hoping that it can keep me up for a little bit. I have an extra cup of the same tea, but an iced version of it already ready for me if I start to get sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to be reading Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. I've already started this book. I'm on page 58 of it, so I'm not too far into it yet. So I'm gonna see how late I can stay up and how much of this I can read. It's like, I think about 500 pages. No, it's not, okay. Since I've never done a 24 hour readathon before, I don't really know how much I am capable of reading in 24 hours. I know that I generally read 50 pages an hour. I have time myself. So I could do the math, but I know I'm not going to be reading every single second. So I'm hoping I can at least get through this book. It should be possible. It is 417 pages. I've already read 58 pages of it. And if I do that, I'll be really happy if I'm able to finish it in the off chance that I end up reading, flying through this one and getting to another book. I will be reading Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the third book in the Infernal Devices. I forgot to mention this is the third book in the Magnus Chase trilogy, so I'm gonna see how it all ends. I'm very excited. And this is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. I have already read this, and this is a reread, but this past week, week and a half, I reread Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince. Um, and those were my that was my second time reading those, and it's been I think about three years since I've read them. So it was really fun to reread them. I'm so excited to reread this because I'm realizing I don't remember a lot of details. Like I remember a couple major plot things, but I don't even remember like the final showdown, exactly what happens, which is pretty perfect for a reread. I'm actually on page 36 of this because I started it and then got this one from the library and decided to read this one since I hadn't read it yet because too excited. <laughs> That is the plan for the day, or the night. As I've said before, I'm gonna see how late I can stay up tonight and keep reading. If I fall asleep though, which is very likely, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. It just hit 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna start reading. I will see you later, bye. So it is the next morning. Um, for all my talk of trying to stay up all night, I ended up falling asleep at 2.30, and then I woke up just now around 10:30. So <laughs> that was a solid eight hours of sleep. So I can't even be mad because that's pretty standard for me. I'm not one of those people who can just function on like six hours of sleep or whatever. I ended up getting a good chunk read of Magnus Chase though. I got to page 173 and I had started at 58. So over 100 pages. So that's really good. I'm a good ways into it. It's very good so far. I'm really liking it. It's very funny. A lot of giants though. I noticed that also in The Hammer of Thor that in the first book I feel like he had Magnus met all these different different types of gods. I feel like in the later books it's always just different giants. I don't know. I like the other kinds of gods more than giants because I think I've said before giants are like my least favorite mythological creature. I don't know and then they're all kind of similar all the different giants. But yeah I am still really enjoying it since I did get a good amount of sleep hopefully I can get a good solid day's worth of reading in today. Finish this book. 
but now I'm going to have breakfast because I am so hungry. All right, I will see you after after I eat. Breakfast time. All right, it is a little after 12.30 now. There are less than 12 hours left in the readathon. I'd better get to read it. I haven't started reading yet today since, you know, the falling asleep of last night. So, so I have passed page 200 in my book. So I think it's time for a change of location. So let's go to my new office room. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Nice futon for the sitting. See, now I always have the tough choice of which direction on the futon to sit. I can sit here and look out the window at this lovely tree. It's very nice. Or here and look at the beautiful, beautiful bookshelf. Tough choices. I think I'm going to face the tree though because it's always good to look outside. So I feel like I haven't updated in a while and I am on page 288 and the, and the book is very good in classic Rick Riordan fashion. They're on a crazy quest meeting lots of wacky characters who want to kill them. And I decided to have a snack because I got hungry. It is currently 4.11 p.m. and so I have like a hundred and like 30 pages left of the book. I should be able to finish it today, hopefully. <laughs> so at least I'll have probably gotten one book done. So yes, I should probably get back to reading to make sure that I do finish it though. That's it for now. I finished Magnus Chase, Ship of the Dead. I have to talk kind of fast because it is getting dark outside and I don't have much sunlight left. It is like, what did I say, like 6.30? I really liked it. Like this is the last Magnus Chase book. And I really like Magnus as a character. So I'm sad that his series is over. But it seems like since there's a Trials of Apollo are still going on and he's kind of in that world and he did kind of mention going to visit Annabeth I wonder if Magnus is going to make an appearance in like other books. I don't know if Rick Riordan has other plans for his mashup of worlds to combine things further. It was good. I can't quite decide if I like it as much as the other two. I feel like this one might have been the least funny of them all. I mean a lot of funny stuff happened throughout the quest but I feel like the people they encountered the first book was so hilarious and then I feel like with each other book in this series it got less and less hilarious. I think it was good. Like this one focused a lot more on character development, I think. Like wrapping up all the characters story arcs and learning about the characters that we didn't hear the backstory of before and stuff like that. So that was all good. You got to know more about the characters. Except for in the last one, you also got to know about some of the other characters. But like the last of the characters you got to know about in this book, which was good. And it was interesting to learn about them because it made me like them more. Some of the side characters that I really didn't, that hadn't really been developed all that much. I ended up liking them more in this book than I had in the other books. And it ended in a nice way. I'm not going to really say much because this isn't a review. But yeah, I liked it. Of course, because it was Magnus Chase, and I'm sad that there's no more from Magnus Chase because I really love him as a narrator and a character. And yeah, so I finished one book, and it is only 6.30 p.m. I'm trying to decide if I... I'm probably going to have dinner soon. 
I'm probably going to finish watching Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales because me and my dad started watching that last night and we did not finish it. And then we will see if I end up reading more for this readathon. Oh, it's getting darker. I can see the light is going away. So I finished one book, so I feel like it was a success because that was my plan, was to at least finish, read one book for the readathon. And yeah, so we'll see if I end up reading any of Clockwork Princess. Only time will tell. So it is currently like 11.35 p.m. and I keep falling asleep while reading Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. So I thought I may as well do my wrap up of this whole readathon right now rather than, cause I fell asleep for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. I'm not even sure how long I fell asleep for. In case I fall asleep again, I just wanna get ready for bed and do all that. <sighs> Yeah, apparently I'm an old lady and I'm very sleepy. I have made it to page 122 of Clockwork Princess and if you don't remember I think I started on page like 38 or so. So I have read a good chunk of it today, um, especially thinking that I didn't know if I was going to do any more reading after finishing Magnus Chase and the Ship of the Dead. So. I had fun doing this readathon. I'm glad I did it because I've been really wanting to do a 24 hour readathon and I'm also glad that I vlogged it. I kind of almost wish it was more like a 12 hour readathon rather than a 24 hour readathon because I feel like a 24 hour readathon is almost silly because you have to sleep for part of it and then you feel kind of bad for sleeping. And that's kind of a weird way to feel, like you're wasting time by sleeping, when sleeping is like very important for your health. And I'm an old lady who cannot stay up for 24 hours apparently because I tried it and it did not happen. So yeah, I think it would be really fun to do if there was like a 12 hour readathon instead because then you could just like have that chunk of time during the day where you're reading and then you like don't have any guilt about sleeping. Um, even though I don't feel guilty for sleeping, it's just like, <laughs> you know, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Other than that fact that, like, I had to spend a good amount of reading time sleeping, I really did enjoy the 24-hour readathon. It's nice and short. Most readathons last for, like, a week, and I know, personally, I don't always want to dedicate a whole week to reading I get kind of tired of it. There are other things I want to get done and need to do and so I can't really spend like a week straight reading, if that makes any sense. But yes, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you participated in the 24 hour readathon or if you participated in one before, let me know how it went in the comments below. I love reading your comments. It totally makes my day to see comments and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I make new videos on Mondays plus the occasional surprise videos so please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and click the little bell notification icon if you never want to miss a video and thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!